Welcome to the Minute of Strength. We get so many questions and so many comments about people hurting their lower backs doing traditional kettlebell swings. Via the internet, I cannot correct everyone's swing. I wish I could. I can just give you the essential tools to build a real solid base so you alleviate or avoid the possibility of injuring your lower back or at least having your back go into spasm when you're doing those swings. Typically, the problem is going to be too high volume with the kettlebell swing. Your body's not prepared for it, you don't have a strong enough base, or you simply don't have the right technique. So you're going to use the vintage swing. All right? It's simple. You guys have seen me do this before. I'm going to show you a couple of variations. The front sphere goes behind those heels, and I drive my hips through, bring the bell overhead, pull it to the shoulder, back to the ground to alleviate some of the volume on one side, switch hands. Put that sphere between the heels, hips back, shins are vertical. I drive my hips through first, and the bell literally becomes weightless right around chest height as it ascends to the top. I bring it back to the ground. And you can switch sides like that for a total volume of between five and 10 reps per side. Here's another progression. You've seen me do this before. Let me give you the next progression to that swing. We're gonna do this long cycle. It's a fantastic drill. I'll do it from the side first. To, to start to increase volume, and also get used to the momentum of the kettlebell. Drive it to the top. Instead of bringing it to the shoulder and bring it to the ground, I'm just actually gonna send my hips back from the top and go long cycle and drive overhead. I let the bell descend, my hips fall back. Nice flat back on the bottom if I can. And drive to the top. And again, you'd switch sides every five to 10 reps depending on the volume you can handle. That's much safer. It's a much smarter progression than going full bore into kettlebell swings traditional kettlebell swings that start to tense up your lower back if you're not prepared for that type of momentum. The ballast being on the sides of that belt, the momentum is decreased, or at least the weight falling between the legs is decreased in attacking the lower back. All right, so give that a shot with the dumbbell. The thick grip engages the core just a little bit more. If you don't have a thick grip dumbbells, just use a dumbbell, keep a nice tight grip on it. Give these a shot, keep it safe. If you have experience in lower back pain, put that kettlebell away for a while. Grab your old school dumbbells, give them a go. See you next week.